My name is Ibrahim Adedeji Alimi. I'm the overall best graduating student for the 51st Convocation Ceremony. I finished with a 4.9 AC GPA from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Engineering. I think the feeling is very great. I've received so many calls. People sending me pictures of my posters around the school. People around the world calling me and congratulating me. I think it's a great feeling and I'm very excited to be the best graduating student of the University of Lagos. Coming into the University of Lagos, I remember attending the orientation section um, my first year, first week per se, and um, I was told about the Unilag Endowment Fund. This is 50k that they give to um, people that make first class. And I was so motivated, I wanted to make first class. Because coming from secondary school days, when I was collecting 200, and someone telling me, um, coming to University of Lagos, if you make a first class, you can get 50k. I was so excited, I wanted to make a first class. So I started my journey, in, worked very hard my first semester, second semester, year one, and I was able to make a 5.0. So at that point, I could get my 50k, but I think the motivation changed. Because I was on the five points and I really wanted to like maintain the five points. So I tried so much to like just stay on top. Then I was able to get some mentors, people telling me you can do this, this is actually possible. So yeah, I think the motivation factor when I got to University of Lagos was 50,000 that really like started the motivation. And I wanted to like, after that, the motivation changed. I wanted to like maintain the 5.0 because everybody wants to be associated with success. Um, so my year one it was pretty easy, but my year two I remember when I was because I'm from Ibadan, Oyo State, and I don't have any relatives in Lagos. So my second semester, no, first semester year two, I couldn't get a best place. It was really challenging, and my dad had an apartment at Songota then. So for like the first six weeks of the first semester, I needed to like come from Songota early, early in the morning. So basically, when I closed from school, I. So when I, close, when I close from school, I go and meet him in his office. Then we leave like around seven. We get home like 11 and we have to eat as well. We are sleeping by one. Then by three again, we are up. So I could make my ATM classes. It was really tough because getting into classes in the morning, ATM classes, most of the time I'm probably just sleeping because I'm very, very tired. But um, at the end, I was able to like get a best space because I had to like go to DSA and complain about my plight and the school management were kind enough to like give me an hostel and um, yeah. I had a couple, but um, I'll first start with the first one, which was my mechanical engineering lab. I think that was the first time I got to be in University of Lagos in my second semester, 200 level. So the lab was so rigorous. So we do um, five practicals in a semester, and we are supposed to turn in our lab reports. So we typically do the lab reports on Wednesdays, and we are supposed to turn in handwritten pages of like 70 pages or 60 pages lab report by Friday. So we had practically like less than 48 hours to prepare our lab reports. So that was really, really challenging. I didn't get used to it at first because I got a bit there. And, uh, but over time, I was able to like understand the principles, the things they needed to know. And with that, I got um, A's in the subsequent ones. Um, for me, I would say the university environment is an enabling environment because aside from the fact that I finished with a 4.98, I had the opportunity to volunteer for various organizations. And I think it's um, kudos to the management for making those opportunities available. That way I was able to develop my, not only my art skills, which is the technical skills, I was also able to develop my soft skills by volunteering for various organizations. And to be very honest, um, if you go outside the school, it's not just about the grades. You have to show that you are an oral student. I think um, the university environment provides an MBA environment for me to be able to develop my soft skills, which I'm using right now. Firstly, I would like to give all glory to God, and I would like to 
thank my parents for valuing education, sending me to school and believing in me. I remember my father would always call me throughout my days in my undergraduate um, study. My father would call me every day just to ask me, how are you doing? How is your course? He's not an engineer, but he has no engineering background, but he's always asking, do you have any issues? Not like he can help me, but he just showed that he cared. And I also like to shout out to my classmates. I think they were very important in making me the best graduate student because they're always pushing me, supporting me. They're always telling me, Ibrahim, this best graduate student must come from this class. And they were always supporting me. I think they are really happy that I finished as a best graduate student. There's nothing as um, joyful as that, seeing your classmates supporting you. And I also like to thank my mentors and my sponsors. I had some scholarships and, um, in school, which is um, Shell Nigeria Exploration and Production Company, and NHBC, that's New Age Baptist Scholarship. Um, they really provided a very good platform for me. The funding, relieving my parents of the financial burden. I think um, overall, I'd like to thank all the well wishers. Really appreciate it. I'll try as much as possible. It sounds like a motivational speaker. Um, but I'll just say, just know what works well for you. Um, for me, it was more like I needed to attend classes, copy notes. I had the most complete note in class. Uh, even as a best graduate student. So, so I knew I needed my notes for me to pass. I don't miss classes. As you can see, I attended like 98% of my classes in my five years. So that's what worked for me. So but there are some people, they don't need to attend class to make their grades. So I just, I'll just advise them to just be themselves. Don't try to copy people. Some people go for overnight. My five years in University of Vegas, I never attended any overnight. I didn't use the library. Um, I only used the library in um, 100 level. I think I went there like three times, but I was always reading in my room. So that's what works for me and really helped me. So I just encourage them to just be themselves. Um, no pressure, just don't, you don't have to follow other people. We are different. I think I'll give myself six. My first year, second year, third year, I'm a very self person. So I didn't engage in so many social activities until my 400 level, 500 level, when I was volunteering for stops, attending our dinners, uh, my final year week. That was when I came out of my shell. But yeah, overall, I'll say yeah, six over 10. I'm not the kind that parties. I didn't party. Uh, I, didn't go, I didn't go clubbing because I didn't even drink. So um, for me, social activities for me were just like maybe attending my final year dinner because it was like the last garden like we had together. And um, also like casual outings with my friend, go to the movies, you can see a movie. Then, yeah, just like the cartoons I did in school. My name is Ibrahim Adedeji Alimi. I am the overall best graduating student from the University of Lagos Department of Mechanical Engineering. I finished with 4.98 CGPA. I am a proud product of the University of Lagos, University of First Choice, and the Nation's Pride. Yeah,